welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Allah with another new video in our previous lecture I've just shown that how well analysis a simply supported beam by using SAP 2000 version 20 ultimate so in this lecture I've just told you that in this lecture I'll show that how well analysis a beam with uniformly distributed or uniformly varying load okay so let's start so first of all i'll take a new model and i'll go first because uh, you know that all that process are same so here i'll take here the unit are okay you can change unit as per your requirements so i'm just taking here key fit okay so from here uh, actually uh as per your value you can see that so if i see from our value so uh, the beam will consider that is the beam that will consider uh, to design here so if you see here uh, there is the beam so for that uh, our unit is in length is in meter and load in kg right that's why i'll just come here and i'll modify that so from here you can come here that is kg meter okay here is the unit kg meter so here you can consider that unit after that click grid only and from here i'll just uh, in x direction which number of grid will consider two here here is one and here is one two okay and y direction that will be 0 and uh, in z direction that will also be in y direction it will be sorry 1 and in z direction it will be 2 and grid spacing that is in feet so in x that will be 8 y because there is a 2 4 2 that means total distance from a point to d point it's for that is uh, sorry 8 8 meter and in y direction uh, that is 0 and actually they have no problem in that direction sorry it can be 0 okay it's 6 no problem and it's okay now I'll simply click okay so here if you just see here there is a point and now if I just come here why is it so this is our one point and this is our another point okay now first of all we have to draw a beam here and randomly will consider a beam section here that is not a problem uh, just from that point to that point and then escape after that i'll just give her the support so here is um, the simply supported so one will be uh, inch and another will be pin or uh, roller okay so simple select that and from here i'll just come assign join restrain and from here uh, sorry here the pinned or hinge and another will be a roller okay so it's done this is the pin and another is a roller when it's done now we have to assign load so i'll simply click here and before that in our previous lecture i've also told you we have to consider when software will analyze then the self weight of that structure will be zero or it will not be considered so for that i'll just come here define the load pattern and here for dead load so self weight multiplier that will be zero and here modify so here it's also zero then okay now after that we have to select that sub selected now i'll go assign then first of all how types of load are available here they have two load like 100 kg and 8 kg as a point load and they have a uniformly distributed load that are in from 2 meter to 6 meter right so first of all i'll give the two point load for that i'll just come here as then then have frame load 
then have point load and from here I will select absolute in our previous lecture I have discussed about that why absolute and why relative okay and here it will be dead load this is global gravity and replace existing load it's okay and from here uh, when our distance is zero then our load is zero when our distance is two meter if we come here when our distance is two meter then our load is 100 kg distance is two meter then our load is sorry 1000 kg and when our distance is uh, from a point to c point total distance is six meter then our uh, load is a 800 kg so yeah the distance of six meter it is 800 kg right so it's done now simply I'll click apply just see here here and here we have assigned two load how perfectly now I'll just close that and after that we have to assign distributed load from that point to that point I mean from distance uh, 2 to distance 6 so for that simply I'll again select that beam and I'll just come here assign frame load then distributed load and from here again I'll consider absolute distance okay so from 0 then 0 when 2 then our load is 200 kg per meter 200 and when 6 at distance 6 it's also 200 right it's also 200 now simply click apply sorry uh, yeah I have done a mistake control Z here our previous load are available no problem if I right click the load so that two load are available okay no problem here so I'll just close that I'll select it and from here uh, assign then frame load then distributed load then it is okay now it is here at point 2 I mean uh, at absolute distance 2 our load is 200 and distance 6 that is 200 and at distance here it will be zero then it will be zero okay so it's done right then click apply now see here we have applied it load from that point to that point okay we have applied it load from that point to that point so that's it uh, our all loads are available now so we can close here and at display you can see that okay so so here if we click apply so here is our uh, dead lot okay this is our dead lot and the system so all are available here uh, they have left so no problem i'll just close so we have uh, defined wall load now i'll simply go for save and here simply supported beam to i'll simply save it and after that i'll go here run analysis and i'll not run the model i'll do not run then click run and wait so just see uh, here actually if I come here it's a analyzed now I'll go display now go here show forces first of all if we see the reaction okay the arrow apply so here is the reaction so in that 
structure that is 1350 kg and here 1250 kg okay for dead lot i mean this is the reaction right and here if you come here again display then show stresses then here for dead lot for force this is uh, for share apply so just, just uh, see here here is the shear force diagram here is the shear force diagram and for moment m3 apply this is the moment diagram right that is the moment diagram of that structure so um, actually there is the way to and if you want to see the stress the stress for ss1 this is the stress and for ss2 here is the stress for ss2 and here is the stress so that's it so in this way just you can analyze this your beam okay in any shape so in the next video i'll just show that how we'll analyze this beam with three types of load at a time okay and that will be continuous beam so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video